I'm Michael Steinman, this is Jazz Lives. I have the pleasure and honor of sitting across the table from one of my heroes, Kim Cusack, who has consented without any coercion to talk with us. So, how did you get to be Kim Cusack? Hmm. <laughs> That's going to move way back, I think. I got to be Kim Cusack the musician because in the fifth grade, the grade school band director came around to our classes, <clears throat> brought some instruments with him, and he said, is anybody interested in playing anything? And I, I was one who was interested. Um, I would like to have played the trombone, but my arm was too short. So he said, here, try this thing. Gave me a clarinet, and that's how I got started. I, uh, as far as kind of musical influences, the first thing I can think of is Spike Jones, uh, because it was a hot band back then. And actually my mother liked Spike Jones, so we went to see his musical depreciation review uh, a couple of times. And I was impressed. I thought, wow, this looks like fun. And it was. So I just, I kept playing the clarinet, went through the grade school band, got into high school. Well, we had a grade school band director later on who put together what we call a dance band back then, saxophones and trumpets. So I had to get a saxophone to play in that. Um, and <clears throat> when we got to high school, we just kept, kept on ourselves with a, with a group like that. And I remember playing for money for the first time. We got 50 cents a piece for playing for some eighth grade dance. And I thought, this isn't a bad way to make a buck, so kind of stuck with that. But all through high school, we, this band we had, we played a lot of stuff. We were busy, and we were pretty good. Basically what we did, though, was just play stock arrangements. We had three, two trumpets, a trombone, three saxophones, and a rhythm section, except no bass. Because we didn't know any bass players and we didn't know you we were supposed to have a bass. We had to do the whole thing. This was before the days of the high school stage bands or, or jazz bands as they like to call themselves. We had to do this all on our own. Um, but we, as I say, it was a good band. But it was also right at the beginning of rock and roll, so all of a sudden we were not uh, as hot stuff as we thought we were. These kids came along with guitars and, and uh, I got to thinking, well, we're not going to be able to play this kind of music forever. And about that time, I first heard the Salty Dogs. They were still basically out of Purdue University. And uh, I, you know, I, I kind of I liked the Dave Brubeck Quartet. That they were hot stuff back then, and uh, but when I heard the Salty Dogs, I thought this is what I'd really like to play. So we went from there. 